It's media day for the World Series in advance of game one tomorrow night here in Arlington. It's the Rangers and the Diamondbacks getting underway tomorrow night, 8 o'clock Eastern on Fox, 7 o'clock local time here in Arlington. Pleased to be joined by Paul Seawald. He's the closer for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Paul, I imagine there was a part of you in spring training that thought, hey, there's a good chance I'll be here. But it would be with the Seattle Mariners, right? How would you, how would you take of, of what this journey has been like for you this season? If you told me there was going to be an AL West team in the World Series, I would have felt pretty good right. that it was going to be the Seattle Mariners. Right. And, um, now I'm here representing the National League, and it's been just a roller coaster of emotions. And, and what a year, and I'm excited to be here. Snakes alive indeed, right? Never been more alive, right? Never been more alive than <laughs> like we are that, today. Like that. Tell me about this team, the attitude they go about their business. Uh, you know, this is a team that doesn't have that many guys that have participated in a World Series, but yet you guys are playing like a bunch of veterans who, who, who feel like they, they, they're supposed to be here. I think it's a credit to half the veterans really creating that leadership and that calm attitude and, and Tori's leadership of, you know, just treating this kind of like it's still June and we're just going to do our thing exactly how we have all season. And then these young guys are so, they're so, they're half young and naive and don't realize that there's supposed to be pressure. And then just, they're just mature beyond their years. You know, you have people like Corbin Carroll who have taken the league by storm at 22 and don't realize that, you know, some of us were in college or in the minor leagues just trying to grind away and he's taken this league and just ran with it. Give me, give me one thing that you didn't know coming into this team that now you know and, and, and going to a game one in the World Series. It could just, be a player, it could be anything. So I just, I, I keep going to this story. So, you know, we had we had struggled when I first got here in August and, and yep. Corbin had, Corbin was having his one, you know, yes. brief stretch where he wasn't hitting and uh, he struggled again in Colorado and he, after the game, you know, the food room is right down there by the, by the cages and he goes down there in the cages in his tank top and just starts to whack balls, right? And you know, that goes one of two ways when you hit a thousand balls after the game. This you're either going way. this way or you're going this way. Yeah. Two hits the next night, two hits the next day, two hits, and it was like, okay, Here we go. That's where that's where like that's where the Corbin Carrolls of this game are just so much better than the rest of us that they just took it and it was like, okay, I'm just gonna fix my swing tonight and we're gonna we're gonna get there. Wow. You're part of a bullpen that has been remade uh, in, in many ways. How would you assess collectively where you guys are at as a unit right now? I think we're absolutely at our peak as a pitching staff, and, and it's a credit to our whole run prevention team of reaching that point in the most important opportunities. It's, uh, it's a good job of everyone putting our, pit, our pitchers in a position to succeed. I think that's Tory. I think that's from the front office down to Tory down to the pitching staff. It's just like everyone knows what when they're going to pitch, so they're more prepared for that spot, and everyone has capitalized on knowing this is my, this is my group of hitters. I'm, I'm going to be ultra prepared for those guys. Well, congratulations on all your success. Uh, good luck tomorrow. Good luck in the series, and I hope you can enjoy the moment. Thanks for having us. We'll, we'll do our best.